with details on their New Leaf Community Challenge, we say hello, first of all, to Rebecca Aird, who's the Director of Grants and Community Knowledge with the Ottawa Community Foundation. Hello. Hello. Thank Good you. to have you here. And Ian uh, McKeegan is here as well, Development and Marketing Associate, Ottawa Community Housing Foundation, OCH Foundation. Exactly. It's great to be here. <laughs> nice to see you here. Rebecca, so tell us about the Ottawa Community Foundation. Well, the Ottawa Community Foundation has a mission to work with the community to, uh, as a trusted partner, to support positive systemic sustainable improvement in our city. Okay. And we do that um, by uh, offering um, a pr uh, services that make philanthropy easy for donors. So we have 900 plus funds and each of the organizations or individuals behind those funds can trust us to ensure that the transactions are really made very easy mm -hmm. around philanthropy. Um, we invest um, collectively, we pool the funds and we invest so that people also don't have to worry about earning income to continue their philanthropy. Okay. And, um, and then we have uh, fairly deep community knowledge that we share with donors and we learn from donors we learn from grantees um, and so we're in a good position to fulfill that mission of positive systemic sustainable That's good. change mm -hmm. sounds positive for sure OCH foundation same question Ian what are you guys all about well um, we're the charitable branch of Ottawa community housing a little bit of a change in wor wording mm -hmm. there yeah um, we serve the 30,000 plus tenants living in social housing within the OCH umbrella um, specifically 8,000 youth between the ages of 15 to 29 were engaged with providing um, youth programming and kind of preventative programming to make sure that they can find the best um, best measures of success. Okay, so then Rebecca, what is this uh, uh, this challenge? Why was it created? Well, the New Leaf Community Challenge, so mm -hmm. we, we have just completed our fifth year and uh, really, you know, there's a lot of great people and organizations in the city, of course, that are really concerned with and do good work around um, uh, making the city the best place it can be for all of the residents that live here. But we do have a lot of trends that are moving in, uh, in a direction that we don't want to see. We, uh, last year we had, for example, over 1,200 uh, people per night using shelters. We've got 10,000 people on the affordable housing list. We've got 6.5% of households living with food insecurity. Mm -hmm. And we have 13.1% um, youth unemployed right now. The youth okay. employment rate has, unemployment rate has been mm -hmm. at least double that of the total unemployment rate okay. um, consistently for well over 10 years. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so it's an important... So, yeah, so we've got a lot of challenges mm -hmm. that maybe we need to look for different approaches and solutions to address. All so right. the New Leaf Community Challenge is about creating space okay, for cool. people to explore those. <laughs> That's great. I appreciate that. I just don't want to run out of time because obviously you're a big part of this now. And, and so tell us, there's lots of challenges to finding a new job when you're a youth? There's lots. She mentioned the 13.1% unemployment rate. It's usually a bit more challenging for youth to find unemployment, but over the next five, ten years, you know, the boogeyman in the room is machine automation, uh, machine learning, AI, and they, they're going to be supplanting a lot of the jobs that youth have traditionally taken to get into the labor market, a lot of these entry-level jobs. So that's one big thing. Um, you know, experience and networking is always a challenge for youth because they just haven't been around for that long. Um, so there are a lot of support that need to be put in place to make sure that they can get the access necessary, especially around networking, because 60% of all jobs are found through the hidden job market these days, hmm. peer networks, professional networks, and 40%, you know, through the job boards, it's very competitive, and a lot of youth who have a post-secondary degree are having a really tough time, not to mention all the youth in high school that really have to be finding work now mm -hmm. to kind of get ahead of the curve. Okay, so that's yeah. why it's very good to have this, uh, this uh, mm -hmm. community challenge, Absolutely. obviously. So Rebecca, then can I ask you, so how does this challenge, how is it helping youth? We only have one minute left, so just, just a quick answer and we'll get to how people can be uh, a part of it. Well, mm -hmm. the centerpiece of the challenge is a $125,000 grant that is jury selected from amongst three finalists. Um, but we uh, are engaged with organizations like Ian's organization through the process leading up to that event um, to really try to encourage collaborative approaches, partnerships. For example, we introduced OCH Foundation to the partner that it is working with now um, for, for this Youth, youth Futures, Youth Plus um, initiative. Um, so it's, it's an opportunity really because it's an incentive and it's a process to develop more partnership uh, pro processes and collaborative processes. Okay, and I'm sure all the information, OCF fco.ca. Thank you very much, Rebecca and Ian, for being here today. We appreciate your time. Good work as always, and thank you for being here. Check out our YouTube channel.